Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude. And today, well, I finally got the V47 update on all of my devices. So I thought, what the hell, let's go ahead and try the Quest 2 to Quest Pro controller pairing and, and see how that works out. So I'm, I'm excited to check this out. I love these controllers. I, I gotta tell you, this is actually one of the best VR controllers I've ever used. So can it enhance my Quest 2 gameplay? Uh, let's find out. All right, so now that we've got it all ready to go, let's go ahead and get them paired up here. So in order to get the controllers paired with the headset, we're gonna go ahead and use our phone and the MetaQuest app. So let's go ahead and open the MetaQuest app here. And uh, once that opens, we will go ahead and go to the menu. And then from the menu, we're gonna go ahead and go to devices. All right, and then you're gonna see it finds my uh, devices here. So I'm gonna choose my MetaQuest 2. All right, and then I'm gonna choose controllers. Pair controller, and you're gonna see I've got new choices here now, which are the MetaQuest Pro left and right controller. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pair the right one, since that's the one that I have in my hand. Now it's gonna tell me that it, it is gonna unpair my previous controllers, no problem. If I wanna switch back, it's very easy to do that. So let's go ahead and put this one into pairing mode here. All right. And now we've got the blinky lights. And we wait. All right, and there we go. And it finally paired. So now we're going to go ahead and do the same for the left controller here. And once again, it tells us we are going to lose the old uh, Quest 2 controller, and that's fine. So let's go ahead and put that one in pairing mode. And there we go, got my blinky lights. And hopefully this one will go a little faster. And here we go, and we're just waiting. And boom, there we go, that one did go a little faster. So we've got our left controller paired and pairing is complete. So there we have it. So, all right, now the controllers should be paired to the headset. Let's go ahead and jump into uh, my home and a game maybe and test them out. All right, so here we are. We're in my Quest 2, but I'm using my Quest Pro controllers and they even have the correct model. So that is super cool. Um, all right, you know, I mean, already I can tell you they, they're, they're tracking just as good as they do with the Quest Pro. I, I'm not seeing any noticeable latency or jitter. I mean, literally when I'm touching them together here, they are they are touching together in, in the environment. I, I can definitely put them behind my head here and they're they're exactly like in place where they would not normally be seen you know by the by the cameras on the quest 2 so uh, you know very cool I, I would love to see these become more universal I mean meta come on you know give us steam VR compatibility with these so I could use them with other headsets like my Pimax or my my HP especially like my my reverb g2 with these controllers would be a dream so I mean I, I'm not expecting that to happen but you know a, a guy can dream right so anyway all right well well, let, let's go ahead and get out of my uh, my home environment here. I mean, we can obviously see that they work. Let, let, let's go ahead and jump in for a little bit of quick gameplay. Think it's wise to be wandering around? Well, you know, I mean, I, I've got to test out these controllers, so um, I thought we would do it in this game. Is that okay with you? Uh, I'm gonna go, go chop up some zombies now and see how good these track. Okay, um, we'll, we'll be back to you. I promise. All right, so as I was telling the lady there, uh, welcome to The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution again. Uh, Nothing better to do? Well, I'm trying to do something. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I, I thought what better game to test these uh, new pro controllers paired to the Quest 2 uh, out in uh, because there is a lot of hand interaction in this game. So, all right, let's uh, go slay some zombies and see how these babies track. Don't hang around. 
around well you know I'll try not to oh yes <laughs> very nice okay very precise so just keep coming well you know you gotta just like slack slash at them or, or shoot them or, you know like partially decapitate them or fully decapitate them corpse don't hang around so Is something moving uh oh I better find another weapon so anyway um, I gotta tell you I the, the tracking does feel good it feels really solid uh, the, the absolutely no latency uh, it, it is it is like very accurate um, I mean so I, I gotta say that the controllers work very well with the quest 2 and as I said earlier I would love to see more compatibility these these are now becoming my favorite vr controllers I, it just it, they, they feel good in your hands they're lightweight uh the, the no rings to bump into each other so I, I would love to see these available for more headsets i know it's not going to happen like i said earlier it's a dream but uh, you know, call me foolish, but man, something like these controllers with my Pimax 8KX or my, my Reverb G2 would just be mind-blowing. So, anyway, maybe somebody will hack them. I don't know. But I think we're going to go ahead and end this up and uh, jump out and get some final thoughts because I just broke my weapon and probably my thumb. So, all right, let's jump out. Okay, so, you know, I got to say, overall outstanding combo. I, the, these controllers really work and track well with the Quest 2, but, but I, the, I, I'm sure the big question and the one that I have gotten from a few viewers is, is, is it worth 300 bucks for somebody to just go out and buy these to use with their Quest 2? I mean, they do come with the Pro. So if you're, if you're buying the Pro, you're getting these already. So buying these standalone for $299.99, I just, I don't know that I can fully recommend that unless you absolutely are just in love with your Quest 2 and, uh, you, you just need something that's going to track behind your back. I, uh, otherwise, you're really not going to notice a whole hell of a lot of difference between the tracking on the Quest 2 controllers and the Quest Pro controllers. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you did, you know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, thank you so much for coming by to check out what I do here at VR Gamer, dude. And if you don't mind on the way out the door, you know, do me three solids. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, ring the bell so you get notified when I do something cool in VR. But for me, I'm out. I'll see you later. This is Don, signing off.